This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says if a person walked a dog two-thirds of a mile on Thursday and five-sevenths of a mile on Friday, what total number of miles did the person walk the dog? So in this case, we're simply going to be adding two-thirds and five-sevenths. That is to say we're adding two fractions together. In order to add fractions, they have to have a common or the same denominator. You should look at this and say three and seven have a common denominator of 21. And in order to write two thirds with a denominator of 21, we would have to multiply three by seven. We're also gonna do that to its numerator. Seven times three is 21, seven times two is 14. To write, 20, to write seven as 21, we have to multiply it by three. We'll also have to do that to its numerator. Seven times three is 21, five times three is 15. Now, if you couldn't identify their common denominator, you could always list out the factors of three and seven until you find the one they have in common. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 7, 14, 21. You can see that they have 21 in common. You should not have to do this on test day. If you have to list out factors to find a common denominator, it means you're probably not ready to go and take this test. All right, now that we're adding two fractions with a common denominator of 21, we keep our denominator the same, and then we do 14 plus 15, 14 plus 15 is going to be 29. So this is 29 over 21. Of course, this isn't an answer choice because this is an improper fraction and we can convert it back to mixed number via long division. Again, I could read this as 29 divided by 21. 21 goes into 29 one time without going over. One times 21 is 21. Uh, 29 minus 21 is eight. And just like that, we have enough to write our mixed number. This one is gonna be our whole number. This remainder of eight is gonna be our numerator. And this 21 is gonna be our denominator. So you can see that this one is A.